My BFI player choice this week is the astonishingly assured directorial debut by actor Gary Oldman, a feat made all the more astonishing by the fact that Oldman has not yet directed another feature since this made its award-winning bow at Cannes back in 1997. Nil by mouth. Coming out for a couple of hours, babe. Bit of mooching about, won't we, Long? Bill. Bill, don't get too comfortable with you. Don't forget tomorrow. Be better now. I'm going to get on it, all right? Get out of it. See you later, Jane. Where's he going this time of night, all suited and booted? Well, I don't know, do I? Don't care. Working from his own script and drawing heavily on his personal experiences of growing up in South East London, Oldman conjures a world in which you can smell the cigarette smoke, taste the alcohol and feel the often brutal physicality of the story. The film's title, Nil by Mouth, comes from a medical instruction traditionally seen hanging over the bed of a patient on an intravenous drip, incapable of taking food or water. But it's also a brilliant metaphor for Ray Winston's overbearing father figure, a man wrestling with his own inner sickness from whom no one can expect a kind word or a loving kiss. It's one of the defining roles of Winston's screen career and the conviction he brings to it is at once touching and terrifying. Incredibly, Winston's presence is matched by that of Kathy Burke as Ray's long-suffering and horribly abused wife, Val. Although Burke's feature film career includes significant supporting roles in movies as diverse as Sid and Nancy, Elizabeth and Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, nowhere does she dominate the screen in quite the same manner as she does here. Rising to the challenge of a role that demands both a Shakespearean command of language and an ability to portray an appalling level of physical objection, Burke was the recipient of the Cannes Best Actress Prize, and I struggle to recall a more deserving winner of that accolade. Elsewhere in Nil by Mouth there are plum rolls for Charlie Creed Miles, Oldman's sister Layla Morse, who would go on to have a long-standing role in EastEnders, and Edna Dore, who, in the film's closing moments, sings a song, the voice of which is actually that of Oldman's mother, Kathleen. It's clearly a very personal film, and it lands an overwhelming emotional punch.